We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the Gospel of John, we hear, Jesus said to them, cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. When we find our strength in Jesus, and place our trust in his plan for our lives, we can rise together in the face of crisis and adversity. We are all in the same boat, fishing together for strength, love, and peace. Let us together join in prayer for the needs of our community and the world. For those unemployed, may, they, may this pandemic end soon so people may return to work and provide for themselves and their families safely. For Danielle and her family and for all families, may God give them love, peace, joy, and good health. For an end to violence in our streets, for all those facing financial instability, not being able to pay their mortgage or rent, for those fearful of eviction, for the safety of Sergo del Norte in the Philippines, for the doctors, nurses, and medical staff struggling to heal those with COVID, and for those doctors and nurses who have given their lives during this time. For researchers and scientists to discover a COVID vaccine, for Christian Worcester, Eddie Rocha, and all the firefighters serving tirelessly in our California fires. For all first responders of COVID, fires, and hurricanes, may they have perseverance in caring for the task at hand and be pr protected from all harm. For police officers who serve in cities across the United States and uphold the laws of our land, may they remain, in safe, and remain safe and serve with respect and dignity for every human being. For all those we serve through Catholic Charities and Second Har Harvest on Saturdays mornings with our food distribution and through Santa Teresa's pantry during the week. For the difficult discussions that need to happen on the issue of race in our society and for the work that needs to be done throughout our nation. For the poor and the homeless, for mothers who just gave birth who have no home and extraordinarily little support. For Gabriella and all victims of human trafficking, as they rebuild their lives, may they recover and heal from this trauma. For the immigrants who have no support of family and friends or government. For our friends, the farm workers who continue to work in unhealthy air quality conditions. For school administrators and teachers as they find new ways to teach their students. For parents at home who are teaching their children at home. For those who face discrimination and unjust treatment. For those in prisons that they remain safe. For all those who serve in the military who protect our country, may they remain safe and have strength and good health and return home to their families. Prayers for those couples who are trying to conceive a child. Prayers for couples waiting to get married. Prayers for couples who are waiting the birth of a child. For all those who are struggling with loneliness, isolation, anxiety, depression, mental illness, that they reach out to someone to be comforted. For each of us, that we may do what is necessary to stop the spread of COVID. For those who are suffering with a broken heart, for peace and the miracle of healing between division in a family. For Eleanor Ward, who celebrates her 18th birthday today. For all those who celebrate birthdays and anniversaries this month. For the sick, we pray for strength, courage, patience, and healing of the sick. We pray for caregivers and care home facilities. And we pray for B. Clark for complete healing. For Mary Berry for healing and strength as she continues to recover from surgery. For Lupe Prada who is undergoing radiation. For Jesse and Sue Gonzalez 
Jesse is beginning treatment for pancreatic cancer, and Sue is recovering from breast cancer surgery and currently going through treatment. We ask for extra blessings on this married couple during this time of trial. For those undergoing treatment for cancer, Joyce Colburn, D. Constani, Brian Joyce, Kathleen Laura, David Donnelly, Norma Burton, Doreen Williams. We pray for a negative result for an upcoming T scan, CT scan for Armando De La Rosario, father of Pearly Elk, who is sick, for Christy Ber Berriesta, who is losing her eyesight, that it's stabilized, Nicole Chapman, who was in a bad car accident and is in a coma, for Fadwa Ajuli, Mary Bagan, Greg Bagan, Rich Berriesa, Shirley and Jim Gibson, Claire Houston, Marty Howard, Paula and Bill Rosinski, Chauncey and Rosalie Russo, for all our parishioners who are sick, for all our who are suffering in pain. For the dead, Pablito Avaliga Jr., Andreas Gabriela, brother of Caesar Gabriela Jr., Jesus Lopez, father of Claudia, Monaco Facino, Patricia Dover, sister of John Fisher, Linda Dunn, mother of Whitney Dunn, Bernice Gomez, husband of Shirley Gomez, Jesus Lopez, father of Claudia, Colleen Martin, daughter of Victoria Flynn, Matilda, Matilda, Matilda Romano, grandmother of Gabriella Burnett. For Father Len Traverso, one of our visiting priests who used to come and do a uh, weekend supply for us. For all the dead, may they rejoice at the heavenly banquet. We ask you, Lord, to hear all these prayers and all the prayers in the, time, in the silence of our heart and all the prayers of those who have no one to pray for them. And we say with one heart and one voice, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, we have a new way of collecting our prayer requests that we would like to tell you about. So we have prepared these little handouts and there is a prayer card and a fish and some fish crackers for you. And they have been put into a little packet and we have, um, are going to pass them out on Sunday mass at the parish and during the weekday. You can stop in the parish office from 9 to 11 every day, Tuesday through Friday. And there'll also be a basket with these outside the front door if you'd like to come by and pick them up. We ask you to put your prayer request on the fish and return them in the mailbox of the parish office. And if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can continue to send your prayer request to me at Linda at SantaTeresaChurch.com. We miss you and know that I miss your smiling faces, your greetings, and I do pray for you daily. Thank you. <laughs>